So the final film in the Jurassic Park slash World franchise came out on Friday, of course, that is Jurassic World Dominion, and I already have a review of it, but I really wanted to rank the films because I spent the last week before that re-watching them all and actually watching some of them for the first time. Surprisingly, I'd seen bits and pieces of some of them, I will get into that here, but I'm going to rank them from my least favorite to my favorite. This ranking may be controversial at parts, but there is some stuff you're already going to know, and that's no surprise here. I'm going to put them on a tier list. So I was just going to do it normally. I was like, you know what? This might be a little bit more fun. So the tiers I have here are the obvious, the S, the A, the B, C, and D tier, but I also added I would rather be eaten by a dinosaur than watch this again because, uh, that's how I feel about uh, a certain movie here, but I won't get into that yet. But I actually really enjoy a lot of this franchise. I know that some of the movies suck a lot, but each movie at least has maybe one sequence that it is good. At the very least, yes, there are some movies here that absolutely suck, and you will see that, but also it has some iconic films, and some of these movies I like more than other people, so I guess you'll have to see where they land on the ranking. But coming in last place easily for me is Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, and it's the only film that is going to go on this tier. Now, the next one could also maybe go on this tier, but this movie I hate so much. I remember seeing it in theaters and thinking, you know, that was pretty bad, but it wasn't like the worst thing I'd seen in the world. I thought it had a few redeeming moments. I think the first act is all right. I think all the stuff with the dinosaurs and the island and you know, kind of what happens. I won't spoil it, but most of you have definitely seen it if you are watching this video. That stuff is pretty cool, and it looks all right. It's pretty muted in its colors, but as the film progresses, it just gets worse and worse, and it is so boring. I mean, the second act is just... Ugh. It's so boring. The characters become uninteresting. They totally forget about the two boys in the first Jurassic World, which I think is weird because even though they aren't amazing characters, they're still better than some of the characters they introduce in this film. And the whole thing about this really just being this scheme to sell the dinosaurs just becomes so boring after like 20 minutes because it goes on for so, so long. And it's just stupid decision after stupid decision by the characters, which means the writing really sucked here and... I don't know, overall, I really hate this movie. I did rewatch it, but I barely made it through it. I will probably never rewatch it again unless in 20 years we get another Jurassic Park movie, which there's a chance. But next up here, this one could easily go on that tier again, but I'm going to put Jurassic Park 3 on the D tier. The only reason is I've seen this film now once. Now, I knew a lot of the scenes here, and there were lots of moments that I recognized while watching it, but I don't think I had seen this film all the way through fully, like just non-stop watching it, but I did, and yeah, this one's pretty bad as well. This one sucks a lot. It, it, it really is close to the same level as Fallen Kingdom, but I do like it a little bit more because it's not as boring, because it's only an hour and a half, so you know, it's it's the best of the worst, I guess, in this situation, but it was nice to see Sam Neill back, but these new characters are awful. As much as I like William H. Macy, his character is very annoying. His wife is one of the most annoying movie characters ever, and their son is all right, and some of the sequences are fine, and some of the dinosaurs can be cool at times, but again, it's just so uninteresting, and there were so many moments that are just so cheesy, and I totally understand, you know, it's from, what, 2001, and stuff can be dated, but I feel like this movie is more dated than The Lost World and the original one, in my opinion. I really don't like this film. I may watch it sometime in the future, but I really don't think it's a good movie. Now, this next part, there is a big jump up. I just want to be clear about that. Coming in in fourth place is Jurassic World Dominion, which I actually enjoy. It, it's kind of like between a B tier and a C tier movie here. The more I think about it, I understand why people didn't like it. I kind of see both sides. I see why people loved it, not loved it, but really liked it, and I also see why people hate it. I think writing-wise, very inconsistent and doesn't really enclose the whole franchise in the way you would expect, and that is actually a negative. I think I, I have a full review of this, so you want to see my full thoughts, no spoilers. I talk about it there, but I just had a lot of fun with this. I went into this movie with super low expectations. I mean, my expectations for this were lower than when I went to Morbius, so... I think that says enough right there, but I had fun with it a lot of the time, even though the whole plot of 
taking down these bugs, these insects, whatever, is so stupid and so boring, and having the characters split up and having the dinosaurs take a step back, I mean, those are all major plot problems. I really liked the character interactions for the most part. I think it was, of course, nice to see that original trio back on screen together, and the new characters having Owen and all of them um, kind of come closer with daughter not really but you know it is i think that part was pretty interesting and the action was really good the dinosaur sequences were incredible when they were in the movie and the movie is two and a half hours and i didn't really find it that boring but i did notice a lack of dinosaurs in a jurassic world movie so it's it's a really big mixed bag for me i enjoyed a lot of it but i also see a ton of the problems here so i see both sides i think my opinion could change a lot on rewatch and then next up here i actually have jurassic world which i'm also going to put on the b tier but again this is like a high b so like these two i mean this could go like here it can kind of just go in the middle here but i am going to put it at the low b tier i think jurassic world is a very good movie when this movie came out in 2015 and i saw it i remember just falling in love with it. It was like one of my favorite movies at the time. It's definitely not anymore, obviously, but I don't know why, but I just loved it so much. I still remember at the end of the movie, seeing it in theaters, going with my friend at the time, who I was very good friends with, not so much anymore, but we were really good friends, and we were just obsessed with it, and on, like, my door to my room, I had something that said, like, my name on it, because, yes, I was one of those people, and it had the four dinosaurs, like, coming out of the end, like, colored in, well, not colored in, but, like, printed out. Like, I was obsessed with the movie. I had, like, I used to edit pictures a lot, so I had ones that said, like, run on it with, like, Bryce Dallas Howard and, like, stuff like that, and I think that this movie is pretty good for the most part. I, I think the Indominus Rex is, is that what it is? Yeah, it's pretty interesting. It's pretty cool to see, but it definitely does not have the same intensity that it used to. I like a lot of the scenes and maybe it is because I've seen this movie so much. It's been probably a good six or five years since I've seen it, but while watching it again, so many of these scenes came back to me and you know, maybe it is that I have seen it that much, but I still remember having like an Indominus Rex toy and st stuff like that. So I think this is a good movie. I think that the final act is really awesome. I think that's when the movie just is great, but there are a bunch of moments here with the characters that are just unnecessarily annoying and they just don't really seem like into it. None of the actors in the first act besides maybe, uh, I don't know. I think that Chris Pratt is pretty good. I think Bryce Ellis Howard is very good, but because she's playing that preppy kind of big business person, like she doesn't really seem interested in the kids at all in this movie. So I enjoy this movie. I think it is good, but it definitely has a bunch of problems. And I could get into it a whole other video. I don't want to rant about it the whole time in this one, but in second place, obviously, you know what it's going to be. It is The Lost World, and I know a lot of people, whoops, I'm going to put that one above, I know a lot of people don't really like this movie, and just like Jurassic Park 3, this is the first time where I think I've seen the movie all the way through, although I knew a ton of the scenes, and one thing I absolutely love about the movie is that Jeff Goldblum takes center stage, and he is my favorite character in all the Jurassic Park movies, and I know he isn't like the best written one or the best character, but he is my personal favorite. I just find him so interesting, and yes, the opening to this movie has the strangest edit I've ever seen in any movie with the screaming and then Jeff Goldblum's just yawning on the way to uh, like a train whatever and if you just yawn because I just said yawn let me know down below because that's pretty funny but I think this movie is super entertaining it has so many amazing sequences and because it's also helmed by Spielberg I think it makes it so intense and it actually has one of my favorite Spielberg sequences of all time and that is when the bus trailer thing is hanging off the side I was like sitting up in bed watching it. I was like, because I didn't know what was going to happen. I was so into the movie. I think that, that scene is brilliantly directed. Yes, some of the stuff of the story, especially in the third act, go a little bit overboard. And yes, I understand it's a movie about dinosaurs coming back, but still, there's some stuff um, towards the end. Again, I don't want to get into any of this because some people here may not have seen any of the sequels. They've probably just seen the original and maybe the Jurassic World movies, but I actually really highly recommend it. And I have to give a big shout out to Jason Carr, who sent me the first film and this film on 4k so my first full experience was amazing the 4ks look great so thank you jason i know you'll be watching you are the best but we all know it's going to be number one honestly it had been probably a good seven or eight years since i've seen this film fully jurassic park is one of the greatest films of all time and i know you hear that a lot but while watching the movie again in preparation for dominion i noticed that there is not a single wasted scene here every single scene is directed with so much tension the movie is so tight it's only like 
two hours and seven minutes or something, and every single scene is so entertaining. The dialogue is, like, witty, but it's also so smart. I mean, I could rant about this movie for so long. I forgot how good it was. I know that I loved it, and I knew I've always loved it, but after this rewatch, it really solidified itself as one of the greatest films I've ever seen. I mean, 1993 for Spielberg. <laughs> unbelievable that this and Schindler's List, which is even better than this, came out in the same year. I know most people prefer Jurassic Park, and yes, it is a lot easier to watch, but you also have Schindler's List. It's crazy what Spielberg did, just adding this film in with all his other amazing films. It's, it's just crazy. I know it's one of the most famous movies of all time, and it's one of the most famous logos, but it truly is one of the best. It has so many iconic moments that are called back on in Dominion in some ways that are okay and some ways that are pretty cringy, but I don't think I will ever get sick of this movie. I think this is genuinely a perfect movie, but let me know your ranking of the Jurassic Park films in the comments down below. Do you agree with mine? Do you highly disagree? I know a lot of people have seen different things, but I'd say for the most part, I think this is a pretty okay list. I want to know if any films would go on my tier of I would rather be eaten by a dinosaur than watch this again, but thank you all for watching. I will see you guys next time over and out.